Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and today we want to decorate our topic journal. Continue with that. I decided I wanted to cover the spine, and I'm going to use these coffee dyed doilies. So basically I'm just gonna glue that on to the back and then the doilies can spill over to the front and the back. So. I also wanna cover quite a few verses today. I don't wanna make these um, topical journals a huge project if I can do several verses at a time, then the project won't be so long. And then we can move on to something else. Something like that. I'm using my Barely Arts because it's nice and strong and it doesn't warp as much as some um, maybe the Elmer's and it's stronger so whatever you put down will stay there there if I need to touch it up later I can do that all right so then I also want to make a cover I had these pieces left over the other day. I thought maybe I could use them for something. I know that a little bit. I was thinking, I really like the brads. I do like the brads, that's why I already have them out. Okay. I was thinking one in each corner. I think I'm gonna use my awl so I can see where I am putting the holes. Oh, I must have knocked it off its spot. So I just want to roughly have it like in the center, roughly. This is just some cardstock and a craft color. These are six millimeter. Oops, I have to insert it first. I'm trying to hurry before everybody wakes up and starts making all the noise. I guess we'll just see how far we get today. As I was out this morning, I got a, not a new idea, but I think I know where a decoration or an embellishment I've seen where that originated. So that inspired me to make one. So I'm going to do that next after I figure this out. I was thinking... could use that. I will use that. Oh, I do like I'm starting to really like the the torn edge on things. 
It just, I don't know, gives it interest. Some things, of, some of these things with the junk journals, um, I don't know, they don't all appeal to me when I first see them. And then as I see them more and more, I start to like them more, so... I guess there's that. All right, let's see what this will look like. I think it's got to be that direction. And I think it might be a little too big. It fits with that, so. All right, so I need something, something soft. Something soft to go behind there. Here, this will work. Tool, that's it. We got a tool. Since there's already some white in the background, it should work. Unless you're up close, then you can see it. I'm just gonna cut some off here. Okay. Which side? I kind of like the rows. that doesn't have the decorative edge. And if I um, rip it differently now, then it won't show anyway. All right, I'm gonna stick with the berries, I guess. Then, I'm going to I know, I could have put the brads in after, but I didn't. I might need my hot glue. This one is just too handy. It heats up and then you don't have to worry about the cord. think that's gonna because of the fabric there that's all right uh, what can I do on the front I should write something okay this is red he Oh, and now it decided to stick some. Okay. That's all right. I pulled it apart. Now I'll just re-stick it. Something like that without smudging the, or the printing. Okay, so that is going to be my cover. My title. I don't know. Whatever you call that, that's what it is. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at small talk. I just... <laughs> I just haven't had enough practice. I don't have the gift of gab. Some people I enjoy watching because they do. And I don't see that trait in myself, so... Oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully you like to craft and you like to hear about Jesus. Okay, so there is, it's kind of a nameplate, I guess. It's the name of the journal. There we go. Okay, so I have, turn that off.
turn that off. Put it away. It can be handy again later. So what I was thinking for this inspiration that I got this morning, I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, it involves a flag. And I think this will work. And it involves a paper clip. Two inch. All right. And it involves putting a paper clip on there. So I need paper uh, that, yeah, paper that is roughly two inches. might use this. So two inches roughly there and I want it double thickness. Maybe around there. I was hoping I'd get that straighter. No. Okay. Oh my goodness. Crooked lines all over the place. All right, so then this folded should make it a little stronger. This is that faux leather. I used the packaging material and some diluted glue and some ink. And how did I envision this? There we go. Something like this. It's going to get cut for what I had in mind. Anyway, so what we're going to do. Yeah, it's going to be handy right sooner than later. Um, what we're going to do is attach these two things. But I want to make like a, a flag. So I'm going to cut some out here. like so, and then this piece can go on top there, and that piece will attach to the page. And so what I saw that inspired me for this was the, um, I don't know, lately I've been seeing a whole bunch of welcome flags at people's homes. They'll put them outside by the front door, They'll put them in their gardens. Um, and I just thought, well, why not? <laughs> All right, so I think I need a stamp or something. Something to decorate. And flatten that a little bit. Oops. All right. So now we have an altered paper clip. And let's 
see. What can I put on there? It's not exactly welcome, but it's hello. Too big. Something like that. Okay, what else? Just gonna make it a little bit smaller so that it I want this part to be smaller than this. There's probably an easier way to do this, but I don't know what it is. So I can't very well do it, can I? That'll work. side. Let's see if this still works. I don't need a lot. get a lot done today. Well, we may get quite a bit done, but may not. Um, make a lot of progress. Let's see, which direction? I want to save most of the butterfly. Something like that. All right, let's see. I did want to have that background there. Now I feel like I should have inked that. Oh well, I did not, okay. All right, there we go. An altered paper clip based on a flag that I saw. All right. Probably not an original idea, but I can't even say you saw it here first because I'm pretty sure you've seen them lots of places. All right. Then I need it on a sturdy Sturdy page, but here. That works. Maybe a little lower. And then we can put a verse or two behind there. Let's see. This one might work because it's got the yellow and the blue. This might work because it's got the yellow and the blue. All right, we'll start. Acts 4, verse 12. And there is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men by which we must be saved. And of course, that is the name of Jesus. Let's take a long one. This is Ephesians 2, verses 1 through 9. 
and you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which you formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them we too all formerly lived in the lusts of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the surpassing riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. Yep, so we were all sinners before we were saved. We were all born in the sin nature, and we're already condemned to die. Which is why we need a Savior. All right, that looks a nice page right there. If I say so myself, I am pleased with that. Um, sometimes, I don't know, it's a little plain. I could use some drawing or something. I'll think about that. Then, I don't know, a pocket, maybe a pocket. What else have we already got? What have we, what have we done? What needs doing? Uh, let's come back to pockets. All right, I'm gonna fill this one up. Put a label on there. All right, so that's another. Let's do this one. And we'll save the others for next time, maybe. John 6, verse 44 through 47. Jesus speaking. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. So, he who believes has eternal life. And another word for believe is to depend on, to trust in, to look to, to rely on, to trust in. So... Okay, so there's that one. Ah, one more. How about that? Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. Amen. I like that one. All right. So that will be it for today don't want to make these videos too long either so um thanks for joining me and we'll continue next time bye for now